Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to go over um, adding card views to our Instagram app that we've started. So if, the, if this is the first video you're watching, you're going to want to go back and watch the videos that we've done up to this point. I'll put them all in the description below. But uh, the last time where we left off was I added navigation to this bottom action bar here so that when we click on them, it takes us to different activities. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a card, uh, a card a, we're going to put cards in a list view in this uh, middle tab here. So you can see that I can scroll through all these cards and when we go down it adds the loading animation. Just like we went over in my previous uh, card view tutorial that was just specifically for card views. The difference here is that I'm going to integrate it into what we already have um, in our sort of Instagram app. Alright, so to get started I'm just going to carry on from where we left off and the first thing we need to do of course is to grab the dependencies that we need. And we're going to need two dependencies. We're going to need the card view dependency, which is this one right here. And depending on what version you're using, you'll have to change this number. And then we can also grab the uh, universal image loader dependency, which is my preferred way to um, display images. So it, it just e makes it easy to resize images and display them in list views, just so um, your app isn't slow. It doesn't get slowed down from image sizes. Uh, so I'll put the link in the description to my GitHub if you want to get these dependencies. And once we get those in, we can close our build.gradle. And we'll start by building our card layout. So we'll go to create a new layout resource file. And we'll call it uh, card layout name. And most of this I'm actually going to be copying from my previous video because it's very similar. I'm going to put the link to this GitHub page in the description also. This is the card view tutorial that I've done in the past. And most of the code is going to be very similar. We're just going to integrate it into our Instagram app. So I'm going to go over to the layout files. So I'm going to go into res and layout and uh, it'll be activity main, I believe. Yeah, so here is the card view layout. And I'm just going to copy this whole thing because it's going to be exactly the same. So let's go back to our project and I'm just going to paste it in here. And these margins are different. So I'll just set them to 16 dp. And this will be different. Okay, there we go. So there's our card layout. We're just going to have a card view, uh, a linear layout inside the card view, a vertical one. And it's just going to have an image view and then a text view that's going to describe the image that we're displaying. That's it. Pretty simple. So we can cl actually close uh, card the card layout. Actually, one thing I do want to add to the card view, let's, let's open the card layout. And I want to add a progress dialog inside here for when the image isn't done loading. So we don't just have that X. So let's change this to a relative layout and we'll get rid of this orientation. And uh, we'll put the text view below our card image. And let's see what that looks like. That looks okay. And then we just need to add a progress bar. So we'll go progress bar and we'll do 50 DP by 50 DP. And we'll give it an ID of card progress dialog and we'll go uh, center it horizontally. So center horizontal true. And let's also center it, whoops, that's not what I want to do. Center vertically, there we go. So now this progress dialog will, well, I will write it into the code later that this progress dialog is actually gonna show when the card isn't loaded yet, or when the image isn't loaded yet. So we'll close that now. And now let's create our card class, our card object class. So it's going to be relatively straightforward. We're just going to need a uh, image URL. I believe that's how I did it in the uh, other tutorial. Let's just check it out. So check out the card class into the card class. Yeah, actually, let's just copy this. I'm not even going to type it out. That makes my life easy. So once again, this code will all be on my GitHub, so you can check that out. So there we go, we just have an image URL and a title as a string. We have our getter and setter methods and the default constructor. Pretty straightforward. So we can close that. It's just gonna help us manage our card objects. And of course, since we're gonna be adding uh, cards with titles and images, we're gonna have to get some images into our drawables folder. So I'm gonna grab some images. Okay, so I just got a bunch of images. I just got them from, uh, if you go to Reddit, if this is your first time watching, and go to uh, Earth Porn. Oops, spelled that wrong. So go to the Earth Porn subreddit, and I just I just grab some pictures at random. So just pick some pictures, uh, save them on your computer, 
and uh, then we're just going to drag them into the Drawable folder. So I'm just going to copy all those and paste in my Drawables folder. So there we go, I have a bunch of images in there now. So we're going to want to put the card view in in main activity or in this uh, the second tab here. So I'm going to need to actually create some card objects and add them to a list view in this tab. So let's go to the uh, tab to a fragment to layout and we're going to throw a list view in here. So list view match parent match parent and we'll just give it an ID of list view that makes it pretty easy and that's should be all we need actually here so let's close that and then we'll go into tab 2 fragment and we're going to actually create that widget so we'll go uh, list view and just call it list view list view equals list view we're going to do uh, view find view by id r dot id dot list view and remember, because we're in a fragment, we have to reference the view when we actually find uh, that widget from the layout file. Okay, so now let's just create an array list of cards, and I'll just call it list equals new array list. And now I'm just going to create a bunch of cards. So I'll go list.add new card, and then we need our um, path to the image. So this will be drawable. Actually, I can check out my GitHub and see how I did this to make sure I did it, do it right. Let's go to the main activity, and oh, I can just copy all this. So, yeah, just go to if you if you have the same images, you'll probably you have to change the image names. But other than that, you can just copy all this. Actually, I'll just copy the whole thing and go back to my project and paste it in. So we have um, referencing the drawable folder and then giving the images a name through each one of these and just adding it to the list. And the Smoky Mountain one is not in there, so I'm just gonna delete it. And there we go. So now we just need to create our custom list adapter class. So I'm just gonna copy that, go up here, go to new Java class, paste it in, custom list adapter, and we are going to extend array adapter, and they're gonna take a uh, card type and for this, I'm also going to just do some copy and pasting from my GitHub. So go back here and go to the custom list adapter class. And I'm just, I'm just going to grab everything and then I'm going to adjust it. Actually, it's going to be pretty much the same because we're just using the images and the titles. So I'll just copy all that and paste it in. It should be very similar. Uh, we just got to do the animation. So hmm, I could leave out the animation. The animation really isn't that cool. It just uh, it gives that that drop down sort of thing. I kind of like the loading. I like seeing the loading thing better. I don't really like the drop down loading animation. So I'm actually just gonna leave this out. I'm just gonna I'll comment it out and uh, leave it out for now. Okay, that I think I'm pretty sure everything should be fine in here. Oh, we need to get a, our image failed. So let's go to drawables. Go to new um, image asset action bar and tab icons I mean this is just gonna be our default image for if our image for some reason doesn't load so I'll just do what was it called image failed so there we go now we have our image failed icon and that should be pretty much it for in here um, this actually we can move this only needs to be called once to set up the image loader so let's move that up into the default constructor that was a mistake I made on the uh, previous tutorial, we only need to actually call this once. So don't want to call it multiple times if we don't have to, it'll actually start slowing down our app. So that's it. Let's close the custom list adapter class and see what's going on here. Right, so this is now our card layout. And it's still red because of the view. Right, so we gotta change the context to get activity. If we are in a fragment and if it, we were in an activity, we can use this, but we're not, we're in a fragment. So we have to use get activity to get the context. I think we might actually be done. I think that's, I think that's it. Let's uh, run it and see, see if we get any errors. Okay, I think it's ready. Let's check it out, go to the second tab. And, ooh, that's not good. Well, everything looks good except for that loading, that loading uh, progress bar. So we're gonna need to add some methods for that. So let's, let's actually go to the uh, universal image loader documentation. So universal image, let's just go universal image loader. 
and go down to the documentation, we're going to need to implement some more methods. So if we go down here to the display method, the sorry, display image method, let's, uh, what do we want? We're going to want to get onloading complete and onloading started. So let's get onloading started. Go, whoops. Go back and we'll go to our uh, custom list adapter. We go down to the method. So here's our display image method, just like in. Um, wait, why didn't it open? Here we go. So this is this is this section right here. The only difference is I I cut it off right here. So I only have the image URL, image URL, the image view, and the options. So you can see that from here. So we need to set some extra properties. So let's go back and I can actually, I could actually just grab all of this because why not? Let's copy that. We don't need all of it, but that's okay. We'll just take out what we don't need. I'll paste that in, get rid of all these ellipses and fix all these brackets. Uh, let me get rid of that and that. And that should that should be it. We'll bracket uh, here. Oh, I see. There we go. Okay. So we have our now we, we have our image loader listener. And we have all of our new override methods here. All right. So that looks okay. So now we need to uh, reference our progress dialog box and we, we want it to pop up when the image is loading, but we want it to go away when the image is done loading. So let's go up to our uh, view holder and let's create our progress bar. Let's call it dialog. And then we need to instantiate it down here. So we'll go into our if, if statement here, folder dot uh, dialog and we get our progress bar convert you from you ID R to ID dot what did I call it card progress dialog probably that sounds pretty good and what else that should be it now when the loading is started we want to we want to display the progress dialog so we can go folder dot dialog and then set the visibility and do view dot uh, visible and that needs it's giving me an error here because I need to declare this final not there, up here. So there, that error goes away. Okay, now we're gonna copy this. And when the loading is complete, so we're gonna go down into the onloading complete override section here, we're gonna set the visibility to gone. And I'm just gonna go back into our card layout and make sure I set the visibility. Um, I guess it doesn't matter actually, because it starts loading, it'll be visible. When it's not, when it's done loading, it will be, it'll be invisible. And we can put this in here, too, but I don't think it really matters. Oh, unloading failed. We definitely want to set it to gone. There we go. Okay, let's run that. All right, so we'll go to this tab, and we're scrolling, and you can see now it's now you can if it's it's loading. Looks good. My visor is very slow too. Wow. It looks it looks much better. I'm running it on my actual phone. I'm just emulating it on visor, and um, on my actual phone, it's really smooth. And that loading animation looks really good. I like it without the the uh, that sliding animation much better. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna add to it next. Um, you have you have a pretty good sort of skeleton now that you could you could add a lot of things to this. You have multiple activities at the bottom. You know how to add tabs to the top. Um, I th I think I still want to add tabs to one of these activities, but. Um, I'll leave that for a later tutorial. You have a bunch of tabs here. You know how to get a card view into the center. So definitely a lot, a lot of things that you could add to this app and make it really great. I just created a, another video today about uh, an app that I'm planning on making or that I already made but I'm going to make tutorials on pretty soon. It's, it's, uh, it's going to be a Reddit app. Where is it? Here it is. So um, yeah, it's going to be a Reddit app. So I can type a subreddit up here and I can press refresh. And it will actually pull the information right from a subreddit. Here's the title, here's the author, here's the date, and here's the thumbnail for the image itself. So if I pulled up uh, Reddit and went to Earth Porn, like I just showed you there, it's actually pulling the information right from an RSS feed from Reddit itself. 
So you can also change it to a different subreddit. Like if we go at the top, we can just pick one. Uh, we can pick like picks here. I can type picks and hit refresh and we'll go to picks. And this one will then pull the information right from the picks subreddit. Originally I had planned to add this into the Instagram app. So I was gonna actually put it on one of these tabs in a card view, but I'm, I'm not really sure at this point if I want to do that, I might just keep it, uh, keep it separate because there's, there's quite a bit to it. It's probably gonna take maybe three or four days worth of tutorials to get this done. And there's a lot of stuff we could add to this itself to make it really cool. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what kind of feedback I get. I'd really like you guys to leave comments below and tell me what you want, what you want to see. I was also thinking about um, adding images to, to Firebase and giving them titles or something or, or giving them some properties and then, and then um, adding them into this app into a card view or something like that. That would be cool, I think, too. So just let me know what you think. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.